Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, in yesterday's video, we showed you how to create an offset angled section, just like this, no coding involved, really nice thing. You see this on a lot of sites. Today, we're gonna to take this a little bit further. We're gonna actually show you how to add angles and things to each section. So I've got a page here and you create angled sections like this. I'm sure you've seen these on sites before. Create curved little sections. You can encapsulate the whole section, have it all curvy if you want to. And if we roll down, you can even animate these things if you want to by putting your mouse on it, taking your mouse off. Really easy to do. We've done it with two dividers there. And I'll show you how to do all this in a moment. I've got one at the bottom here where I've just got one divider at the bottom that we're animating. And it's rolling up slowly over that. When you take your mouse off, it's going to disappear. And you see a lot of this on sites at the moment. It's very in vogue, really easy to do. And there's absolutely no coding involved. Used to be for an angle section like this, you'd have to do it with a CSS pseudo element and code it in there. Divi's made it so easy for you. So let's get started. I've got another page over here. It's just got regular straight sections on it. So let's go ahead and start making these sections a little more interesting. I'm going to enable the visual builder. And once enabled, let's do a, an angled section on this. Like I say, you see these all the time. Once enabled, if we go into the sections themselves, the blue tabs right here, go over to our design, you'll find dividers. And this is only available on section dividers. You won't find this in rows or modules. Once you click on it, it's going to give you the opportunity to add a divider to the top of your section or to the bottom. For this particular case, I'm going to add it to the bottom of this section. So I'm going to click on the bottom tab, divider style down here. That's the one I'm going to use, but as you can see, you've got plenty of different options here. Click on the one that you want. I'm going to use this one today. As you can see, it's dropped an angled divider on the bottom of this white section at the top here. And it's automatically taken on the color of the divider below, which is fantastic. Of course, you can color it any way that you want here. Just click on the color you want it to be. But I like it to clone that color below. So you need to click on the color or hit Control Z. It'll go back to how it was for you. Perfect. Only thing I don't like about this is now made this section a little bit too short. I like the angle and everything like this. But to counter that, we can just add a bit more space on the bottom, still in design. If we go down to our spacing, let's add a couple of hundred pixels on the bottom right here. Just put in the value. It'll put in the PX for you. And that's a bit more like it. Now, of course, once you've got your divider in there, you can do all kinds of different things. I click back on here, so we're on this one. I'll show you how to do it. Change the color. You can change the divider height quite easily. If you want it to be more pronounced of an angle, you can take it up, have it as crazy as you want. And like I say, you, you see this on a lot of sites nowadays. I'm going to put it back down to sort of where it was. If you want it to repeat, you can get some crazy patterns going and things like that. It's all kind of different options. If you want to flip it around the other way, just hit it that way. It's flipped it horizontally. You can also flip it vertically. Let's take that back off, put it back how it was. Fantastic. Now at the moment, this is going to be underneath section content. So if I take that height back up again, you see it's underneath that image there. If you need it to be, you can put these things on top and partially obscure stuff and use opaque colors and things like that and get some really nice things going. I'm happy for mine to be underneath the little section there. Now let's take it back down. Let's just put in a value. I think up 200 will probably do. That's what we expanded the section by. Great. As you can see, that's really easy to do. And I'm sure you've noticed it on a lot of sites. But there's plenty of other options. We can add curves and things like this, and we can do double curves. Let's perhaps work on this section here. And again, I'm going to go into the section. Design. There's the dividers. Let's put one top and bottom this time. So I'm going to click on the top. 
Let's perhaps have a curvy one. Something like that. And on the bottom, we'll have it its opposite number. And you'll notice these are opposites, top and bottom. One goes up, one goes down. I think that would be the opposite. Yeah, it looks about right. And again, it's squashed our little section down a little too much there. So again, I'm going to roll down to my spacing down below. And both on the top and the bottom, because we've got top and bottom dividers on this. Let's perhaps add 150 top bottom. Again, this is entirely up to you, whatever it works for you. Great. And again, you've got all the same controls here. You can change the height. You can change the color, direction, the amount of times it repeats, etc. Now, one thing that's, that's been quite popular with my customers is animated dividers. Something like the ones we showed you over here. I think it was this section right here. If we roll down, as I roll over, we've got our animated our dividers animating like that. Again, really easy to do. No coding involved in this at all. I'm sure some of you are ahead of me. So we're on the top one here. Common to all Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing within a module, you'll see some little icons appear. If you hover over and there's a little arrow icon there, we can create a hover effect. Have one value for when the mouse is not on it, desktop. Then when they hover their mouse on it, click on the hover tab, we can have a completely different value. So this particular one up here, we can make it a lot taller. And we can do a similar thing for the bottom one. Just click on the bottom tab right here. Divide height, remember, get the little arrow up. I think we had 500 pixels. Let's do similar for this. And you can get them crossing over like that and get all kind of patterns. Now, the time it takes to actually get from desktop to hover version with Divi is 300 milliseconds, which is pretty quick, just under a third of a second. You can slow that down or speed it up if you need to. Over in the advanced tab over here, you'll find transitions. There's the default 300 mils. Let's make it, well, let's make it three seconds. Let's type in 3000 milliseconds. And the transition speed curve I like to use for this is ease in out. Now, if we go back to any module here and flip over to the desktop, you'll see it's now taking three seconds to actually do that. Perfect. Now, another thing you can do with these is you can have them spilling out of a section or you can have them contained within a section. Now, if I was to change this, let's have a look, see, let's get our hover state back up. Let's change this to perhaps 200 of the viewable height. 200 viewable height is twice the screen area of whatever screen they're looking at. So let's say 200 VH. And as you can see, that one's dropping all the way down there. And we'll do the same on our bottom one. Make sure you're on hover state. And I did 200 vertical height VH. As you can see, that's going up there as well. But what you're going to notice now, let's just save this. Just save these page changes to demonstrate this. Save draft or publish if you're ready. Exit the visual builder. Roll on down to that one we were doing just now. If I hover over it now, you'll see it's doing that hover effect, but it's actually making it go all the way up here. And it'll also, if I hover over it again, wait for it to finish right there. It's going all the way down here as well. So it's actually containing it. And you'd see this over this blue section if it wasn't that blue color. You can get some amazing effects. I don't particularly want mine to fall out of my section though, as it is at the moment. It's falling out and it's going all the way up the site. So to fix that, we can enable the Visual Builder again. Once enabled, go down to the section we were working on here. And all we need to do is go over to the Advanced. There's a tab called Visibility. Horizontal vertical overflow. If we switch both of these to hidden, then these will still move, but they won't be shown anywhere outside 
of our section we're working on here. Let's go back into our dividers. I did make them a bit crazy there. On the hover state, we're on the top one at the moment. Let's make that perhaps just 100. And on the bottom one, on the hover state, let's change that to 100. And you'll notice now, if I save these changes again, and exit the Visual Builder, we'll roll on down to where we were. Here's that section one more time. When I hover over, as you can see, they're dropping down there. And it's not falling outside anymore. It's not covering any of the other sections there. Really nice little effect. And what we did with one below here, we did a similar thing just with a single divider. Let's enable the Visual Builder again. We'll roll on down to that dark section at the bottom there. And I'm sure you're ahead of me on this one. All we did for this one was we went in there over to Designer and Dividers. I just used one on the bottom. I think I use this curvy one right there. Let's make it a darker color. I'm going to get my color picker up here. Perfect. That's going to work for me. And to create the animation that was contained in here, just from the bottom to the top, divide a height. We just rolled over, got the arrow up. Let's make it perhaps 700 pixels. Just put in 700. It'll put the pixels in. As you can see, it's spilling out of there. I don't want it to spill out there. So we know how to fix that over in advanced down to visibility and we got horizontal and vertical overflow we want to change them both to hidden as you can see that's gone or as you can't see that's gone right there and our timing again with transitions i'm going to slow it down to perhaps 2500 two and a half seconds and i'm going to use my ease in ease out let's see our changes now we roll back up this section right here. Let's change that to purple. It should change that divider just above as well. I'm going into the section. I'm going to change it to purple. Just so you can see better when we animate that, what's going on. Let's see if our page changes now. And we'll see what we've got. Save draft or publish if you're ready. Exit the visual builder. And here we have it. There's our little top one there with the angled section. Of course, you can flip that around. And you can angle it the other way if you want to. We've got another one here that's just a little curved section. But we use the two top and bottom on this section. We've got an animation going on there. I see a little flashing white line there. I think that's my screen recording software doing that. When you take your mouse off, it's going to go back down. Let's roll it down. And the last one down at the bottom here, we just use a single one on the bottom. And when we hover over... It's just going to grow like that, two and a half seconds. And things like this, people are mousing around your site and things like that happen. It's going to get their attention pretty quickly. Dividers are great things to use. I've only touched the surface here. Do experiment with them. Get some things going. You can get some fantastic looking sites going with them. And a lot of these I'm sure you've seen on other websites too. So there we have it, guys. There's how to use dividers. And you can create hover effects with them too. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you've got any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. or make a little demo video like this one here. So once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.